Hey everybody, welcome to a first demo of the Scene 2.0 project I've been working on for a while. This addresses the problem of, actually the really big long-standing problem of if you have a lot of people working in a single scene, or even just two or even one really, the source control gets weird because every time anyone makes a change, like if I just take this cube and move it sideways, that is editing the entire scene file. If you have a real game-sized scene file, that can be a big problem, even if you're splitting up into prefabs and subscenes and stuff. And plus that, you have to do ahead of time any other change is a problem, adding things or moving things. So I think I've solved all that. So I just moved this cube, right? Let's go ahead and save it. Normally, what you'd expect to see over here in the uh, in the uh, your source control, sorry, is going to be entire scene changed. You're going to have to merge that. But no, in this case, and oops, can I pull this over? There we go. All we have is one tiny item changed. It says, hey, this cube has changed. You can see I changed exactly the position. And that's it. That's all I've done. So that would be very easy to stage and say, um, moved cube to a really great position exclamation point and send that up awesome let's do some more things maybe i'll make the ground green and let's say uh this thing over here blue and i'll save that again let's say i did that while the other person did something else uh, just an ex as an example let's take this thing here and um i don't know again i'll just move it because that's a good example uh cool actually you know what let me just bring back the I'll just open the inspector. Oh, I can't right click in this version. That's right. Uh, okay, can I get it from here? Cool. Okay. Of course, I'd open elsewhere. I'm going to, uh, I don't know, change cast shadows, right? So this is going to be the player character. So I've turned that off. Now, again, I'm going to save. And let's say a bunch of people, three people, just worked in the scene at the same time, made all those changes your level artist, your, your character worker person, whatever, all that. Come over here. Here we have three nice. Very nice, tiny little changes. You can tell I'm really excited. Uh, this is such a basic thing, but it's it's so cool to finally have working. So the capsule turned its shadows off and moved it, right? Super, super simple. Cylinder, uh, all they do is change its material. Plane also changed it, its material. I can stage these one at a time. Let's say I'll take these both and say, uh, you know, so this person A had done this. Uh, uh, so Bob says, uh, Bester materials. Awesome. And then uh, we take this one and we can stage it separately and say, uh, I don't know, oh, I can have names. Um, say June uh, fixed uh, player. Okay, this, this video has rambled on way, way too long. Uh, anyway, hopefully you can see the excitement. It really works. If I go over to commits now, ignore all my other mess. This is just my test scene. Uh, you can see each of these separately and, and that's it. So super, super fantastic. It is saving just to note the real scene in the background. So you're never losing anything. Everything just works. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So uh, I'm super excited about this. Uh, take a peek. I think I'll probably post up a demo right away on the OrDrive toolset discord if anyone wants to try it. Um, Probably. We'll see. We'll see how protective I feel. Okay. Um, see you all around. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Bye.